Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on the commodity space, we'll look at the dollar, gold, miners, oil, and natural gas. So ever since the FOMC on Wednesday, the dollar dropped very significantly. And with the close at the low of the day on Friday, it doesn't look like this sell-off is done just yet. But we're close to daily oversold conditions. What this has done is now confirmed our weekly downtrend. So we had our loss of the uptrend and now a lower high and a lower low. And the most important level for me now becomes... 9503. And that's because when we lose the weekly uptrend, we zoom out to the monthly chart. And now the most important monthly support for the dollar is 9503. If that level breaks, we will lose the monthly uptrend. And that would be significantly bearish. And that would be great for the gold bulls who are certainly breaking out. And looks like we are anticipating that this support will eventually break. So gold on the daily, full on breakout mode. Look at the volume. So this orange bar here is the 20 day average volume. And you can see leading up into this break, we were hovering right around the average. And then ever since this breakout started, the volume has just been pouring on and the average has been climbing. In the past few weeks, the average has gone for, from 220,000 to 335,000, over a 50% increase in average volume in just a few weeks. So we know the monthly chart is breaking bullish. The bulls pretty much did everything that they needed to do to make this a convincing break. We already have more volume than the last four weeks and we still have pretty much 25% of the, or I should say the past four months and we have 25% of the month left to go still. So a bull break of all resistance levels nearby, 143361 is the most important resistance level from here because after that level, we're looking at 1500, 1600 and just psychological levels due to the lack of resistance in this price range. So the bulls would love to break that resistance level. And as far as fighting this trend, I personally wouldn't do it unless you're really comfortable just short-term scalping by going bearish gold or going bullish on the bear miners. But why fight this trend when it's been two years in the making and is now breaking out? We know that when we lose the four-hour uptrend on gold, which currently is a higher low at 1382.34. So if 1382 breaks, we're going to zoom out to the daily and just look for a healthy daily higher low to form. Anything above 30, 1332 is a higher low on the daily time frame, keeping those bulls in full control. And if we were to lose the daily uptrend, which isn't happening anytime soon, we just zoom out to the weekly chart and we're going to look for a weekly higher low. So the bulls have the trend in their favor on pretty much every time frame, and it's just going to be looking for healthy consolidation once we lose the four hour uptrend on gold. The bull miners are benefiting very well significantly from this move. They too are making a bull break. Let's start on the monthly chart. The monthly trend has changed with a higher low and higher high. We've been in a lower high and lower low monthly pattern ever since we topped out at 3179 two years ago. Next resistance level, 2558 and then 2571 before the bulls have a lot of space to the upside with a lack of resistance. The weekly time frame in breakout mode, closing at the high of the week. And when we lose the hourly uptrend, then we look for daily consolidation. But rather than look at the bull miners and their hourly uptrends, I would definitely keep an eye on it and make note of it. But the four-hour uptrend on gold is more important to me than the hourly uptrend on the miners as far as indicating when daily consolidation is coming. When gold loses the four-hour uptrend, we're going to look for these bull miners to form a daily higher low. For GDX, anything above 2224 is a higher low. And that's where bulls will be looking for an entry, just like we were looking for an entry here with the hourly oversold conditions a couple weeks ago, which certainly played out. We're going to be looking for the same thing. GDXJ is much different. The monthly time frame has not broken resistance. We have not changed the trend. Anything under 3504 is just a lower high. And again, this is why I always say that if you are bullish, you want to be playing the bull senior miners, NUGT or GDX. And if you're looking bearish on the miners, it's GDXJ or JDST for the junior miners. So that's the most important resistance of 3504. If we were in the same standpoint as GDX, we'd be up here in the $40 range. And we're still almost 20% below that mark. 
So the daily time frames in breakout mode as well. When we do lose the four hour uptrend on gold, we're going to pull back and look for a higher low because anything above 29.89 keeps the uptrend intact on the daily chart. And the bulls are extremely strong. We certainly don't want to be buying bullish up here. We want to be waiting for that consolidation. But if already in a position, there's no reason to be selling up here unless you're scaling out and locking in some profit, anticipating reloading on a daily higher low. Oil changed the daily trend and saw some decent little follow through to end the week. So that has me zoom out to the weekly now because we changed the daily trend. And I could say, all right, great bounce. But anything under 63.79 is just a lower high. We need a weekly trend change with a higher low and higher high. And the more important pattern for me is the monthly. The monthly equilibrium continues to tighten with our high, low, lower high, higher low. And we are patiently waiting for a break of either 50.59 for the bears or 66.58 for the bulls. And we are currently $7 above support and we're about $9 below resistance. So just about the midway point. If we get another dollar to the upside, we will be ex exactly in that midway point. And again, I expect a break on this monthly pattern in oil unless we get some kind of war with Iran or something along those lines, I would expect if this pattern is going to continue to tighten, that we would get a break around September or October. And that will have implications on the market as a whole, because that's definitely an important pattern. If we lose the hourly uptrend, or actually no, it's the four hour, still using the four hour here on these commodities, 53.26, our higher low is now 56.64, lose lose that support level and we would zoom out to the daily and just look for a daily higher low to form. The bulls have a lot of space to work with and they want to make their way as high as possible to create as much space as possible for the bulls to form a weekly higher low once we do top out on this bull move. Natural gas remains in complete control of the bears daily inside bar on Friday. The four hour time frame not doing anything to change the trend yet. The bulls are going to have to see a break of 2219 pretty much 222 on Sunday night. If we're going to get any follow through, if we break 215.6, I will start having some interest in oversold bounce plays in natural gas around the $2 psychological level. That's still a ways away. That's another 10% drop. So I don't anticipate getting there anytime soon. But if we did drop down there, that would get the weekly RSI oversold. The daily RSI would be pretty beat up at that point as well. So I'm remaining very picky if I were going to play any kind of oversold bounce here. Otherwise, just patiently waiting because we will see some significant gains in natural gas once we do bottom and you know a solid 25% plus move once that bottom does occur. And of course, if you're playing the leveraged ETFs, that can make its way to a 75% move, but there's no indication that the bottom has been set yet. So remaining very patient for that, and we'll see if it's the kind of a capitulation bottom where we see an all-out flush and then a significant V-shaped bounce. But we're not beat up enough yet for me to be interested in trying for that oversold bounce. So that's where we stand. Gold and miners certainly have the highlight in the commodity space over the past couple of weeks. They're getting a ton of attention on social media and on news networks and just making their rounds because of this break that everybody's been waiting for for two years. And the question now is, can we start getting into breakout mode where gold moves and miner moves get pretty insane like they did back in 2016? And that's certainly what the bulls are hoping for. We'll continue to check back in as always. I appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your Sunday.